Coach is Rick Stewart with AllAccessCoaching.com. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below so we can let you know when new content's been uploaded. Okay, obviously another thing, that was kind of how we attack it with the option. Now, one of the very best ways to attack it, particularly against the 4-3 look, is to run the zone dive because, you know, there's a seven-man box. Now you're taking one person in the box, running him to pitch. Um, and so there's a natural hole there. So we like to attack it right there. We're going to inside stop with our wide out. Play side tax slot's going to deliver the tackle through the read key. He's responsible for C, C gap. We call this a pinball technique. We're on the zone dive. He's going to take the gear step. And then instead of trying to get through, he's going to actually work back into the read key and then through. Um, and obviously, if he crashes, he will wash him and the, the slot will climb. If we get a three technique, we're going to double it, let our slot handle the, the DN by himself, unless we just really feel like our guard can handle the three technique, then we'll keep the, the zone dive combo on. But a lot of times, we'll double the three and run right behind that hard. Um, uh, our center, our place side guards, you got base or double if there's a shade, uh, double if there's a three center and everyone else is scooping. Um, we're presenting an option. We're going to let the motion go farther. Uh, quarterback's going to give automatic give to the fullback, and then he's going to hit the inside hip of the guard and read his action key. Um, again, not a zone dive clinic, but I wanted to kind of give you the base of what we're doing. This is why we love it right here. The three two exchange, this guy's running out of the box. Now he's going to replace him, he's going to be deeper. He's probably not as good a tackler, he's a smaller body. This we didn't run the zone dive for a long time because we were such a belly team. And we ran belly so much that we didn't really want an extra way to get our fullback the ball. We Mostly we got the same thing accomplished out of belly. And then when you, we started to get this deep 4-3 look with the deep mic, uh, you knew that there was a hole here that we needed to take advantage of. They're going to play stack hits. So we want, that's when we really implemented it. But then you, if you get a deep mic and they run 3-2 exchange, you're soft here, you're soft here. There's no way they're going to stop you from getting 4-5. or five, And you have a potential for a big play. So, again, to the open side, if we're getting 3-2 exchange, zone dive is going to be our first thought. To the tight end side, we're going to run the zone double. To the open side, zone dive versus 4-3. Versus an okay, it's a little bit different. But 4-3, zone dive, open side, first thing we're going to want to go to. Um, in fact, we, you know, you in college you go against your defense in the spring and against in fall camp, uh, our quarterback would recognize the three, two exchange by their alignment. Maybe he was a little wider. He was down and he would check it um, every time because it was such a good play. And I finally had to told him not to check it because we wanted to work some other plays, you know, because I, I didn't want to spend all spring and all fall camp just running zone dive. Now, if it was a game. We just run zone dive the whole time. He could check it every time. But it was so good. He knew it. We knew it. He would start checking it all the time. Um, that's just, you know, uh, we're just showing the different ways there. And same thing. If we got a shade we're going to overtake, and he's going to rip through up to the mic. If we get a two-eye or a one, we're going to base it. And instead of scooping, he's going to chase the mic. And so he can block the mic past the hole. We tell our fullback, we call it B and C. He knows if there's a B and C. If he hits A gap, there's going to be a hole. But say this guy goes A and he hits B, and we're going to coach him to – he's aware of that. He's going to block him and make that cut back. A little coaching point that really helps your zone dive versus a 4-3 on, and the deep mic. All right, so right there is going to be the 3-2 exchange. You saw that we were – you know, earlier we were playing this team, we were to run the option. We were moving the guy out. Now – We'll get in tight. We'll get the three-two exchange, and we can give the ball there. And it wasn't a great three-two exchange. Uh, you know, their guy came kind of flat. But you can see he's up on pitch. He's coming to quarterback. He crossed his face. He washed. Now he can go right up to the mic. And then it's a good play. So we really like this to the open side. You know, normally these two are responsible for those two, right? The stack backer, stack backer's out of there because it's 3 2 exchanging. It's a 6 1 look. So now these two can work to the mic. Also, we have the chase on there. The chase, he chases the mic. He can't get him. Now he'll go to the backside safety. He's on him. 
And that's what we're trying to hit right there. Okay, this is one of those three two exchanges where the corner triggers. They're cover two team. Corner's been triggered almost the whole game to pitch. He's been taking quarterback. They tried to change it up again. I don't think it's real sound to the field. We usually see it into the boundary, but right here, zone dive's a great play. You're getting what you want there. They no longer have to work to that guy right there. We delivered tackles on the four or five technique because he went inside. Running backs up. And our center actually got to the back of before he did. Okay. Three two exchanges on down here, kind of a oaky monster type look. There. So we turn out, we made a crush tag on it, which tells our flex he's going to block uh, the exchange. So he's going to block two. Now we're able to work right out. You see, this was a good versus this look because they had this monster. I think we have a four eye there. So now our, our running back is able to get to the get to the mic there. And we've made our double team call. It's a four eye, but we're treating it like this. So we're doubling him, which is the way we would do our base triple and we would read him. Okay. So now we made the crush call. He's going to block in. He's going to double. He's going to go to Mike. And we're going to, we're going to try to push this double team into this monster. Uh, or if he slants, then the tackle can work off. And that's what happened right there. Center did a good job as well. Um, we'll also run the zone dive over to the tight end side. Like I said, we prefer maybe to run the zone, the triple double over here to the tight end side. But verse, verse three, two exchange, you could run the zone dive to the tight end side. Right here, they've widened the nine. So we're going we're gonna to allow either a double or a base and a beer, depending on the technique. And these two are working the combo on those two. Um, but you can see, you know, if you had a three, two exchange on there, that that could be a really tough deal. This wasn't a three-two exchange, but this is something we would like. You know, if this guy was sitting here and they ran him out there, it's just a we ran it here because they're in a nine. So now we can base beer to the mic, and those two have those two. But that's another play we would go to first three-two exchange. Okay. Um, zone option. Isn't a bad up, uh, answer to zone dive because, or to, to three, two exchange, sorry, because the guy that you would pitch off is going to run out. The quarterback's going to keep the ball in that, that soft spot. Our play side X or Y is going to zone or is going to block the pitch key. If we have a crush tag, that tells him to block block uh, two, which is going to run out. Our spot wider, our slot running back is going to combo with the tackle. Play side tackles up and over, combo with the running back. And he will spy B gap with his eyes if the guard is covered. The guard's not covered. He doesn't have to because the guard's got it. Um, up and over step, base block, and everyone else is scooping. Quarterback's on step 45. We have a crush call. Um, unless it's an Oki or 6 1 and there's a corner that's the pitch key, we could pitch it. 99% of the time, we wouldn't. Against like an eight man front, he wouldn't pitch at all because we're going to block everyone. There's an Oki front or a four, th uh, a three two exchange look. There's a chance he could pitch it, but um, obviously if they threw to exchange, he wouldn't. Um, but again, we're going to attack this guy. If he's running out, we're going to put someone on him, and we're going to double there to the mic, and we're going to try to get the 
be back, move that trash up to him and get right into that soft spot. Attack where they're baking. That's what we're doing here, right there. There's the exchange, safety's here. Our fullback's on the safety. We should walk in here, but the fullback falls down. If he had enough, you know, we're here and we walk in. But you see how we're attacking this. And because they're 3-2 exchanging out of flex, they basically got two on pitch. And that's why we want to attack that soft spot. So zone dive is a pretty viable option here. Same thing you see, and, and I don't think this was a three, two exchange stunt, but you can see when this guy starts working out, you know, that's kind of given the same look. You can see the natural hole that would be here. He would be here. He would be here. And that's why we like this play versus the three, two exchange. Coaches Rick Stewart with AllAccessCoaching.com. I really hope this video helps make you a better coach. Make sure you hit the subscribe and like button down below so we can let you know when new content becomes available because we're all about coaches helping coaches. And remember, coach, better today, never as good as tomorrow.